Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're talking about the Heroic Game Launcher. The reason we're doing so is if you're a beginner to Linux and you want to run GOG, Amazon, or even the Epic Games, uh, this has all three built into it. As you can see, you can log in Amazon, GOG, and there's Epic. There's also an alternative login for the Epic Games Store right there. Now, this will bring all your libraries into one and... There's multiple settings. There's wine managers, of course. You can grab the latest version of wine. You can grab the latest version of wine, LOL, for League of Legends. And you can also grab the latest build of uh, Glorious Egg Roll or, you know, GE's Proton. So it's an all-in-one built app. There's also accessibility options. Look at this. Look at this. There's themes. Oh, that's an ugly theme. That's a classic ugly theme. Oh, standard theme here. This is an Electron app, so it's not really gonna... I don't like that. I like this. There we go. Basically, you get everything you need all in one. So, as you can see, I'm not logged in, but it will load the Epic Games Store itself. You can also go to the GOG Store, and it will load that. And it will also load the Prime Gaming Store. So let me log in real quick. We'll be right back and we'll look more in depth on this, okay? All right, so we're all logged in. As you can see, got my Amazon, there's Epic, and somewhere around here, there's Cyberpunk with GOG. All of it's here. You can split it into categories or filter it by Epic, GOG, Amazon, other Windows, Linux, uh, browser games, pretty much everything is here. All right, and it's uncategorized at the moment, but uh, yeah, if you want to, you can manage your categories. You can add one and do whatever you need to. I don't really like setting that up. If I need something, I'll just search for it, you know? Uh, you can also look at this way or do this alphabetically from top to bottom. And well, mostly I just like using it this way. And I want to grab Cyberpunk as an example of this. There's Control, but there's Cyberpunk from GOG. So if we click here, we hit Install Game. We can easily select a beta channel if we need to. We can choose to install the DLC, the Red Mod, or Phantom Liberty. You can choose your version of Wine if you need to. Honestly, you, there's also UMU. That's a whole other video that we'll need to cover, but... If we need to, we can install this and make this work, okay? So I'm going to hit install. Your downloads are going to be over on the side here. So if you click it, you'll see it starts downloading. Um, I've noticed that there's a bug when it comes to this. Only on the 6.9 kernel will it not tell you the proper download speed that it's happening. Because you can clearly see it's downloading a lot quicker than 2.5 megabytes uh a lot quicker so if we went into system and this is only with the 6.9 kernel by the way you'll notice that our internet speed where is it receiving i think this is network right yeah we're downloading at 220 218 181 yeah so it's going stupidly fast okay so we basically just downloaded 11 gigs already of the game give or take yeah it's going pretty crazy and then my threads are going nuts because downloading quickly requires a lot of cpu so some of my threads are being utilized so this is just an issue with the 6.9 kernel it doesn't happen on the 6.8 kernel okay all right so once this is downloaded, it'll just let you play like you just installed a normal game because gaming on Linux is surprisingly easy, okay? And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And it's honestly gonna run great, especially if you have an AMD card. NVIDIA is currently held back by some weird issue with the drivers where the card, where the where I'm not getting my Windows performance and this is the one game that does it. But with a thing that's coming up in the 6.10 kernel called NTS Sync or whatever, it will give me the rest of my performance. I've tested that. So it's a limitation 
of Proton at the moment and hopefully we'll get that fixed pretty soon. So I've pretty much almost gone into detail with you about this. I'm going to show you the options once we have a game downloaded and I know I chose a big game but it's going to be done here in a minute so I'm going to just I'll be right back. All right, so the final part of this video is we're going to click here. We're not going to hit play now. We're going to click this button right here. Let's go over it again, that button right there. What this does is allows you to go into your settings. This button adds a shortcut, adds a shortcut to Steam, uninstalls, forced update available, can move the game, change the install path, verify and repair. Uh, it can be a part of categories. Go to the store page, show the change log, check compatibility and modify the installation. This gets us our settings. Now, it allows us to change our wine version. It allows us to change where we want the wine prefix folder. It allows us to auto install and update. And it allows us to enable FSR if we want it, so on and so forth. It allows us to run wine config, wine tricks, and even run certain executables on the prefix by dragging and dropping there. Now, this allows us to show FPS enabled mango hud use steam runtime user dedicated graphic card uh, basically this will just automatically happen if you only have one gpu you don't need to click this but if you have an i gpu and a dedicated graphics card uh you're gonna want to click this all right just so you can not use the i gpu this allows us to input arguments such as wrapper commands or variable names i'm going to grab some variable real quick and we're going to pop them in there just to show you how this works okay all right so we have the variables and i'm going to just paste it in there and we're going to hit the plus button so this makes it so it doesn't hide your nvidia gpu and the next one we're going to enable nvapi I'm going to copy that. I'm going to directly paste that in there. I'm going to hit the plus button. And as you can see, Photon enable NVAPI. And it's set to 1. So this is going to allow DLSS to work in Cyberpunk if you have an NVIDIA card. Isn't that cool? But it only really works for Proton. Now this, this allows you to download your saves, you know? So, force download, sync. I don't know if it's actually going to friggin' download my stuff, but if it does, it does. If it doesn't, I'll just start over again. It's, uh, it, it, it's pretty strange. If you need to, you can also grab your saves from Windows and just copy them over to that folder there, which it mentions, and it should be pretty easy, okay? This also allows you to use GameScope, but only if GameScope is installed, which it is, and for some reason it's not reading for me. Yeah, but... It is what it is. Let's hit play. And it's not reading. Man, are you serious? All right. This might be an issue with the kernel as well. Mango HUD. So we might need to do something a bit weird. I do, not you. You won't need to do this. Mango HUD. Game scope. Yeah, when I say weird, I mean we're grabbing from Fedora 41 weird. Yes. So, yeah, I guess we're going to have to go turn off Mango HUD because it's, uh, it's just not going to work. And hit play. So we're not really going to have, you know, the FPS on the screen, but it should be something. Now, this one booted up the red launcher, which is a bit weird. But we are in-game now, and because of the red launcher, there should be an option to enable the FPS because the red launcher has some stuff going on. Uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, without Mango HUD, it's the best we got. And... We have audio. Can you... I'm not only turning that down for you, I'm turning that down for me. Because that's hella loud. So I don't know what the command is here for 
like this to get it to show up. But it's something. I don't even bother. We're just going to run a benchmark. Oh my good god. Look at that. Cloud sync worked. All right. Settings. Our graphics ray tracing is set to ultra. Fake Curie construction is on. DLS S frame generation will not work. Okay. Just letting you know that. We're going to leave path tracing off for now. I'm going to turn you, 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 and you. And you to off because you're ugly and you don't ever need to exist. And we're going to run the benchmark. We are recording in AV1. Using NVENC, by the way. This is a custom... Uh, well, I've compiled the master version of OBS so I can get you the best quality possible. We are recording in slowest, best quality at 25k bit rate. So this should look kind of 1440p-ish. Oh, we do got the FPS counter. Yeah, on Windows, this would be a whole lot better. One second. Let me just... There. I like the... I, I like ray tracing a lot. It really does improve everything, like, look-wise. It saves on lighting calculations and other things. I It just looks fantastic. Metal looks like metal. Plastic looks like plastic. Glass looks like glass. It doesn't really get better any better than this. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about Heroic Game Launcher. Uh, and for a beginner, if you're new to Linux, this is a really cool program to use. So give it a download. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to check it out. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.